Uh, my name is Eddie. I'm an artist from San Bernardino, California. I'm here with Solon today and I'm working on some illustrations. First started actually um, when I was little. Uh, maybe middle school is when I started doing more and more because um, I started taking art classes and I was just mainly doing graphite drawings, pencil. Um, I used to do charcoal drawings. In high school, I started painting the acrylics. It wasn't really like a, a thing for me, so I didn't do it for too long. I started back drawing. I started skating a lot and I actually started doing like graffiti and uh, everything else a high school kid would do. When I graduated high school, I started going to uh, Riverside City College. My art teacher was actually a, an artist by the name of Jeff Soto. And he kind of, you know, taught me that uh, painting was good for a lot of things in life. He's a big painter and muralist. He kind of encouraged me to start painting more with acrylics. I started doing that. I started doing illustration work. And from there, I just continued to try different medias. Right now, I'm primarily doing tattoo work and illustration freelance stuff, but you know, it keeps me going every day. That's what I like to do primarily. Growing up, it was mainly my mom. She was uh, very supportive of me. Well, well, well that, whatever I did actually, not just art. Like she kind of appreciated me sk skating stuff because it always kept me active. My dad, he actually wanted me to play uh, baseball because he was a big baseball player back in the day. I, I do love baseball though. I'm, I'm a big baseball fan. Um, yeah, but it was just, it wasn't for me, I would say. So I mean, over time, my dad kind of got used to the idea that I was, you know, doing these more creative things. Yeah, nowadays, I mean, he'll he'll uh, support me whenever I have a show or whenever I'm traveling somewhere to do some painting or whatever, you know. Primarily, it was my mom though and my little sister. They they love what I do. Today I'm working on a couple portrait drawings um, of like influential people to me. Um, Steve Barra and Eric Costin. They're um, skateboarders. They're actually from like the 90s. They're, they're pretty much legends. And um, they created a foundation for skateboarding and they, they created the barracks. And it kind of, it went I don't even think they kind of realize how, how much it meant to everybody, but barracks is a huge deal. And the fact that, you know, they're stable in that lifestyle is great. So these portrait illustrations, um, I've been doing them for maybe like a year and a half, two years now. I started off just as a little project. I actually met um, this skateboarder I looked up to, um, Tommy Guerrero in the Bay Area. And I didn't really know what to say to him because, I mean, I can't tell him I'm like a pro skater and I do all this stuff, like, so I wanted to, to kind of reach out to him in, in a different way. So I asked if I could do like a portrait, like a drawing, like an illustration of his face, like just to see if that'll catch his attention. And um, I ended up doing it and he ended up loving it. Like I seen him a couple days later at the skate park and I gave it to him and he, and he loved it. Like he gave me some encouraging words. So I was like, oh shit, like, Maybe I can do these, like, it seems like people are really digging them, so I just started doing more and more, and more people started uh, recognizing them, as far as the skateboarding world, because I was just drawing skateboards at the time. So I, I started doing more and more, and people started calling me for commissions, um, do either, like, family stuff or, or, like, I don't know, just little logoing commissions in the same style. I mean, it's actually came a long way. Like, I didn't really think that these portrait illustrations would catch attention. I, I've had a lot of people share it on Instagram and, and uh, 
actually buy pieces from me and it's just a great feeling yeah so this one's actually for the barracks uh, it's for eric and, and steve i'm hoping they'll like it because it's gonna be cool a lot of inspiration just came from um skateboarding actually I would say um, because that would teach me to get out of my house and, and uh, you know just go enjoy what's going on outside and with that I actually I started painting um, my, mainly like graffiti stuff like because I would be out in different cities with my friends and just messing around so I started like tagging on walls um, it was just dumb stuff back in the day I mean that kind of influenced me to, to just get out more and enjoy what's what's outside skateboarding is an art actually um there's a lot of thought into it there's a lot of um there's a lot of processing going on especially when you're you're like professional boarder you're you're out filming in front of people for a lot of people like nowadays that uh, like instagram and stuff that that's like made for skateboarders nowadays each person has their own characteristics and style and i think um it's like the same concept, just a different form. So we're on the way to the barracks right now. I've been there a couple of times, but it's always good to, that they welcome me in there with open arms. I love skating there, it's amazing. We're gonna go drop off the drawings that I made for Steve and Eric. It's pretty crazy, it's pretty surreal actually because they're actually like idols of mine. Both business and skateboarding wise. Smart people. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. I had to keep the artist's feel to it, so I left just the tape. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. Do you want to do something on the wall? Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. All right, let's figure out a space. I have a girl coming in on Friday. She's going to do a piece somewhere on the wall. What wall are you talking about? Like downstairs? Somewhere downstairs? No, that's sick. Let's go find a wall right now. Yeah, for sure. Okay? Yeah, for sure. That's amazing. 